I'll start with where we are now. During the pandemic, with these peculiarities of doing work, we are holding events online. Unfortunately, we are holding events without any audience in the conference hall. But this time we are holding an event in seven languages, the broadcast is available all over the world, and we are sure that dozens of thousands of people will view it. We are located in the city of Tula, on the territory of a former machine tool plant. This space is imbued with the spirit that our today's broadcast will be filled with. Now Solar Group is the world's leader in the crowd investing market. We have been engaged in it for more than seven years. We have already brought together more than a million people and more than a billion dollars in investments that have been channeled through our company and our structures. So there is a billion dollars, there is a million participants, but what does that mean to you? But in order to make each of you from Asia to Europe and America, understand that this is a unique phenomenon that each of you can participate in. I would like to share how this phenomenon was created and how we found a unique niche without even realizing it. I would like to talk about how our company was created, what it grew up on and what motives were underlined at the time of its foundation. In order to explain this, I would like to refer briefly to the historical background. I would like to tell you the story of how the company was created. In 2013, I happened to meet a Soviet design engineer and scientist, and then I realized how big, ultimately big people could be. What a smart person he is, with an exceptionally good memory, well-structured way of thinking, clear thoughts and good reasoning at a fairly serious age. And then I realized that there were unique people living among us. They're like people from a different planet. They're not just head and shoulders above us, the students of our time. They are in a parallel dimension. In other words, they are incredibly smart and bright, strong people. And back at that time, this person had a product that he had been creating for 30 years, but which he could not release. And he was looking for support, looking for help. I am a mathematical programmer, and I wondered, well, how could I help such a great man? He said it's very simple, I need 300 million dollars to create a product I've been developing for 30 years that will turn the world upside down so that you will all be shaken to the core. Well, where can I get 300 million dollars? But due to the fact that I had a degree in computer programming and understood that we had access to the internet and modern technologies, it dawned on me at that moment, how about trying to attract a million of $300 investors? So this is such a simple idea. Not to look for a single 300 million investor, but to bring together a million of $300 investors. Consequently, this time has passed, this money has been collected, this product has been created. But back then, at the initial stages, I realized the following. Perhaps such a person is not the only one of his kind. Perhaps there are more of them. And that's where the story of the USSR, or the story about the potential of mankind begins, that was created and cultivated at that time. The older generation knows about what the USSR is, but most of those who are watching this broadcast are the younger generation and they're not aware of what happened before. I will tell you very briefly what the USSR was like and what achievements it created. As a matter of fact, the USSR was one of the two superpowers that existed some time ago. The USSR occupied one-sixth of the land area. And most of the achievements in science and technology that we use today were created at that time. For example, space exploration, human spaceflight, organizing of the entire rocket and space industry. On Earth, it's power engineering, nuclear power engineering, the first nuclear power plant, the first commercial nuclear-powered icebreakers, nuclear submarines. In the field of medicine, even the discovery of penicillin is also attributed to the Soviet Union. It has saved millions of lives. Where did it all come from? How did it all happen? The USSR was the greatest country, and almost a third of its budget was spent on science, education and enlightenment. What was created thanks to this? This enabled creating 15 enterprises every 10 days. Not just businesses, 
because in the modern world 15 businesses is feasible. This is just a simple figure, but those were technological enterprises, manufacturing enterprises. 15 units every 10 days. As a result, there were 31,000 industrial enterprises in the USSR. The science developed at an incredible pace in the USSR. Again, this figure may not sound very amazing today. But there were 12 million people with higher education in the USSR and more than a million people, scientists, working in the research and technology field. We have these documents and we will send them to those interested to take a closer look at. But these are the figures stating how much money was allocated in absolute terms for the development of science. And if you convert these rubles to dollars at the current exchange rate, it turns out that the USSR spent $27 billion a year on science. And this is in one country only. To give you something to rely on, I will share the following figures with you. Currently around 30 billion, 40 billion at the most, is spent on science worldwide. That is, in the USSR alone 27 billion 50 years ago, and in the whole world 30-40 billion today. This is what the budget allocation was like. There was a scientific progression competition. Let me put it this way. The USSR and the United States of America were competing in it. Unfortunately, the current situation is quite deplorable. Funding for science and development has been reduced dozens of times. But there is one very subtle thing here. A huge country allocated up to a third of its budget for more than 50 years to create a scientific environment, and this generated a huge number of highly educated intellectuals with bright goals and kind thoughts. And despite the fact that this system collapsed, the people remained. Strange as it may seem, the people remained. It's like the Olympic champions who have trained all their lives and who were told, just run, just create this product, just create the best thing in the world. We will get your needs provided for, you will have a car, accommodation, employment benefits package, just do what you do best. But then this system collapsed, but the people are still there. And people still have their words, people still have their developments, people still have the potential that was conceived and that the country created for the whole world. It turns out that we don't have a system that allows these products to be created, but we do have these people, these products. Unfortunately, it's true that some of them passed away and some of them moved to other countries. But we keep in touch with these people, a sufficient number of people who we decided to help implementing the accumulated scientific potential, monetizing it, and launching the products created by these people is in fact the main idea. This is the underlying principle of Solar Group. We all join our efforts, we collect a thousand dollars from each of one thousand people and we get a million dollars. We build a company that produces a unique product we sell this product using the investor network, because thousands of people who gave their $1,000 are the customers who ensure successful operation of the business. They are interested in the company's products being sold.